hello guys finally after researching for over two three weeks for this thing i've reached the moment of truth for everyone out there who wanted to know um which one is better which one is what kind of graphics card are better on laptops usually many people go for the number like if it's gtx 780 whoa this is going to be powerful no and uh, the i'm going to explain about the m over here and the mx and what do they mean if they are not there what do they mean if they are there and if if it's mx so let's start first from the alienware 18 model you will see that it's 2000 price the price is 2000 dollars and in this video just before starting it's only going to be about the model the model that is going the models that are going to be over two thousand dollars so if i'm going to compare this to a gaming pc build i'm going to compare it to a pc build that is more than two thousand dollars so nothing over here will cost you less than two thousand dollars if if you want to search for something that is lower if you want me to compare this one to a lower uh, priced PC then this is not the video for you you can just click away let's start with the video and uh, here I have got se 765m over here first to show you guys what does this 765m SLI mean what what is the speed of this I will show you and again these are just not some uh, what do you say some web pages just that i'm just going to show you i've been watching reviews i've been checking benchmarks on every single graphics card out there f take it from 650 uh, to 780 or titans so i've been comparing a lot of graphics card and and this thing i've got here is a very exact uh, uh, benchmark difference okay let's see F first uh 765 m i'm going to compare this to a gtx 680 mx that is on uh the new Ma imax 2012 models they're not pretty new but and also if you wait around two three months they may be uh, the new imax may be having a better graphics card too so over here you can see it that as this is again so you guys may just freak out this is 765 not sli this is not the dual version uh, but uh, if to just show you guys what does this percentage mean over here uh, i think many of you guys already know this website but for the ones who don't know this what does this percentage mean uh, to show you guys i would say if this one is 50 percent difference if this one is the the num the digit over here is 50 so if you get 100 frames per second over here you will get more than uh more than 170 to 200 frames per second over here if the game is if the graphics card supports more than that some graphics card are pretty strong but they can't go over 250 or they can't go over 200 frames per second so don't think that it's going to be weak or something and and it can give you the answer of how strong this one is and how strong this one is uh, so a dual gtx 765m will be around 17 percent of different uh, 18 uh, the difference between this one and this one will be around 18 percent if this one is a dual graphics card so again still this one is uh, stronger than the than the left one i'm not going to just say uh, gtx on the model because it's going to take a lot lot of time so you you guys will know right now the 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 alphabet here the x means a lot this this thing means a lot if it's gtx 680 m it is mobile y many of you already know that it's stands for mobile but if it's mx it's something between mobile and desktop graphics card so it's going to be pretty strong 
and if you guys think that a gtx 680m will be v uh, the same as 680 and uh, um, then no that's that's uh, the difference between these two are m around 50 percent like you have to have an sli on your laptop to just beat uh, a desktop graphics card next um, I'm, I'm talking about the ones that are higher than 650 um, 650 okay so, and there are no amd graphics cards over here no radians and and to just uh, say if you're going to buy a gaming pc right now the 7990 uh, is now very cheap around 700 dollars 800 dollars you can get that for your desktop pc next we'll compare the same graphics card to a 675mx which is again this one is on the new uh, imax but the difference between this uh, 675mx uh, with this one is only 150 dollars so it's totally worth it just pay 150 more and get massively more stronger graphics card so definitely this one will beat out beat this one uh, more than i would say more than 25 something yeah so you guys just see this one and you just know about what what is the differences next we will move to the one that costs three thousand dollars this one is two thousand this one is three thousand i'm not going to count this one because you're already paying three thousand why you why should look at this one just stupid um gtx 770m sli again let's compare this one to a 680mx so this one is 19 percent better i said over here it's going to be around 18 percent better but i think it's going to be the same thing they are going to be the same the the the, the alienware 18 765m SLI is going to be the same as a uh, GTX 780MX so I take that words back and I hope I apologize for that next we will move uh, I this is the SLI let's compare it to a uh, and to show you guys what are the differences between M and the non mobile versions of uh, graphics cards this is going to be 20 percent 27 percent difference so 27 percent is something like if you get 100 frames per second over here 127 frames per second if you get 200 frames per second here 250 i would say frames per second over here again some graphics cards can support over 2000 or 2050 they just go wild <laughs> for that. um next the M I'm going to show you what's what are the differences between MX and M. Over here I have a GTX 680M and a GTX 680MX. Here you can see it is the MX is around 20% stronger than uh, GTX 680M. Next over here I've got 670MX and 670M just to prove you guys that uh, it's not only about a sing just this model of graphics card is going to be the same for others to see just one percent of difference next i've got here a 780m sli which is this which will be only available for the five thousand uh, dollar 18. um we have to we are not going to count that we are only going to read this 780m with 4 gigs of gddr5 where was it okay compared to a 680mx <laughs> this is only 37 percent better i expected something around 50 or 60 70 but it's only 37 percent better then what's a, an imac which has a 1440p IPS display uh, is I think it's it's 
is half the price of this thing which is only 37% better.